Is my bail application putting you to sleep, Olivia? My, my. Well, there's no problem, no problem at all. Oh, God. This is such a lovely surprise. I was just about to get up and go down to the courthouse and bail you out, but I, I got distracted by other things. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for keeping the home fires burning. Absolutely. Who put up your bail, anyway? That doesn't matter. It only matters that I'm out of that cold cell. And you're free to deal with the two gentlemen waiting for you in the reception. Funny, I didn't have a meeting scheduled today. Yeah. They're orderlies from Raven. You are not taking me back to that two-bit loony bin. You left me to rot for days in that jail. Oh, you are just being paranoid. You know that? Look. It was an oversight. I'm sorry. The next time you're arrested, I'll, I'll leave what I'm doing, let the company fall apart, and just run down to the courthouse with the bail money in my hands. How's that? Relax, Olivia. You're safe for the moment. But you owe me. And I'll tell you what I want. A piece of your business. Slingshot? No. No, never. Bill and I built that company together. You might as well ask me for a piece of my soul. I wasn't aware that you had one. Mm. But now you have to offer me something. Fine. Anything but slingshot. I'll tell you what, I'm on my way to the courthouse. So why don't you come and uh, sit with me during the trial? What? It'll be a nice show of family unity. And it will boost the shareholders' confidence in their new executive. And besides, Olivia, I know that you want to show your support to your beloved ex-Philip.